What's up, Luigi gang? Today we are going to be discussing some piggy news. <clears throat> but first I would like to address the style of video that is happening right now. I know this is very much different to my current style of video, but I felt like a piggy news roundup would be nice. So why don't we begin by talking about the original game? Because it is getting one last update, which is a brand new mode and probably a few skins. But we'll get to the skins. <clears throat> Eventually. But for now, let's talk about this brand new mode. Now, at first people speculated it be something where... One player is chosen to be a ringmaster that controls traps in inside of the map due to Minitune tweeting out, Tell me, what if you were the one in control? But Minitune has since tweeted out a new hint that has given people a new idea, and I really like this idea, and I feel like it really adds up to what Minitune has been building this new mode up to be. So he tweeted out a hammer. But there's more evidence. Creekcraft then replied with a hammer that he has in his own home. And then Minitune replied with, Do you plan on making something with that hammer? Now, this could be a simple trick to throw players off. But I think, and many other people, including Creecraft, think that this means that we are going to be getting a brand new game mode that allows us to create our own maps. That's right, guys. I am super excited for this. Because if that's it, that is amazing. I am a sucker for custom creating things. That is something that I absolutely love doing. Mario Maker 2 is such an amazing game. I've spent, like, hours upon hours playing that, and don't even get me started on the custom stage builder in Smash Bros. That's, that's probably half, almost half the amount of, who am I kidding, that's nowhere near half the amount of time, but I've probably spent at least 10 hours on that, at the least. So if I am able to create my own piggy map, this is game changing, infinite piggy content. This is what I like about the layering of, like, a custom stage builder, the layering of a game basically made around creating levels, and heck, even world maps now with Mario Maker. There's, like, this cushion to where if the developers decide that they don't want to update the game anymore, it's basically the players end up updating the game themselves with new content. So, yeah, infinite piggy content. Sounds crazy. It is crazy, but I am super excited for it, if there is a custom stage builder. So, Minitune, if you're watching this, I hope that if it is a custom stage builder, I mean, map builder, I mean, sorry. I hope it is epic. <clears throat> Anyways, there, there are YouTubers such as Creekcraft, I get a lot of information from Creekcraft, that that there will be new skins to go along with this new mode. So, I find that pretty interesting. So, what skins do I want? So, in a Creekcraft thumbnail, I saw a Sand skin. That's right, a Sand's Piggy skin. It looks so good that I want it in the game. Now, I'm not sure how Toby Fox is with copyright, but I'm pretty sure he's a pretty chill dude, as far as I know. But yeah, I want a sand skin. But here's an idea that I have, that many other people have probably already had. So, I have an idea for a custom piggy skin maker. Now, this skin maker would be the most expensive skin in the shop. Like, very, very expensive skin. Like, this skin would be so expensive that I feel like very few people would be willing to save up for that long. Now, of course, for the people that will, 
they will get a custom skin maker, which I feel like a custom skin maker would be fun and add to the piggy game. Now, Minitune, if you're watching this and you, you're you thinking, or any of the viewers, in fact, and you're thinking, this guy's crazy. Minitune's working hard to make skins. Not to mention, there are other developers that are making skins that need to get part of the cut. Why would Minitune just allow us to make our own skin? Like, well, like I said, it would be super expensive to the point where most people wouldn't be willing to save up. And by the time they saved up to it, the craze would kind of be over. But, but people could still buy a skin. I feel like there would be limitations on the skin maker that would make it to where some skins would be better to buy. Like, yeah, like... Certain skins, like, I would say the giraffe skin, I believe that's what it's called. I would say that you're not allowed to make such a long neck. So, if you want a long neck, you'd have to get the giraffe skin. Or, with the Mr. P skin, you'd have to get the true ending, because you wouldn't be able to, you know. You wouldn't be able to get the remake the Mr. P skin. That's what I'm looking for. But you would be able to make basic piggy skins similar to the George family line. So yeah, but I don't want it to be too basic. Like I've seen this piggy role playing game for example. It has like this custom piggy creator where you can only use piggy, which is flawed in itself, but if it ever sounds like I'm swearing I'm not, I forgot to say that. Sorry guys. Well, where was I? Oh yeah, which was flawed in itself, but, but yeah, the colors are way too bright. I feel like Minitune could nail this on the head and make a good custom skin creator, or he could fail. This could go greatly, or this could go poorly. There's only two ways it could go. Anyways, that's... It for the piggy actual piggy updates. Now why don't we move on to actually that's not it for the actual piggy updates. So there's actually new things for VIP servers. That's right. If you're the owner of a VIP server, you get custom commands to where you can make someone piggy, choose a map, um kick people, and I believe there's another one, but I don't remember it, but this may be a smaller scale update, but I've heard a lot of people like Creekcraft say stuff about this having a big effect and having really good ideas. This reminds me of the whole entire Mad City thing, to where Mad City kind of added commands for the owners of VIP servers. I feel like, personally, this is a really cool thing and a really good thing to do. For the people who are paying for VIP servers. So, props for that, Minitune. Props for that. Anyways, there's not too much to say on it, except this might encourage me to buy a VIP server for Piggy. Emphasis on might, because I don't know yet. Anyways, moving right along, we've got something cool. So, Minitune is considering making a separate Piggy Mobile game. He says the Roblox version will still get updates, but they might be making a mobile version. Now, as of right now, we don't know if this means the Roblox version basically ported a brand new Piggy spinoff for mobile. This could mean just the house map, or just the carnival map, or, or maybe it's like some kind of maybe it's not even gameplay and it's just some kind of hub for the piggy for the custom piggy chapters and skins similar to the um service for super smash brothers ultimate on the nintendo switch online app that i don't for get i said don't forget i meant to say I forget what the name is. Sorry, guys. I am 
Speaking English! Yay! Anyways, as of right now, there's not too much revealed about this, so we can't really talk about it that much, but I would like to just say, if this comes out, I am certainly downloading it. I am super excited to see where this plan goes. Anyways, now we are going on to a brand new Roblox game. Piggy. Piggy. Yeah, we're talking about Piggy, Hayden. You don't need to state Piggy. Yeah. Anyways, this brand new Piggy game is not Piggy 2. It is, in fact, the Bunny Funeral. Now, Creekcraft made a tweet about the fact how he would love to live stream a funeral for Bunny. A lot of people like Bunny. It's been voted for in this poll that Minitoon created that Bunny is the most popular Piggy character. So, a lot of people like Bunny, and a lot of people really honestly wanted to see Bunny return for Chapter 12, but they saw her return as a ghost and got the confirmation that she was infected. So, there are people who want to do Bunny funerals. But, there is already a memorial game, I hear you saying. However, there is plans to make an official bunny funeral game. That's right, guys. We might be getting an official bunny funeral game. Which, if we are, that is actually amazing. I am super excited right now, guys. Aren't you guys? It's And the best part is, it's basically a piggy map. Like, from the screenshots, they'll probably be putting on, putting on, putting up screen, up screen, putting up on screen right now. It is so cool looking. If I can find screenshots, I'll be putting them up on screen. But it is so cool looking. It involves doggy, and I've heard things about boss fight in it, which I am so excited for, man. So, yeah. Get hype. It's supposed to come out this week, guys. So, we don't know when the Piggy map, supposed map builder update comes out, but it's supposed to come out in June, that's all we know. But this will certainly hold us off. I'm sure it'll be a cool map, and it kind of reminds me of how Distorted Memory came out. So yeah, guys. Get excited! Anyways, let's continue with some more news. Now, this news is really, 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 really cool. I am super excited for what I am about to show you. It almost sounds like I'm swearing I'm not, by the way. I am super excited for what I'm about to show you because it is really, really cool. A screenshot will be going up on screen. Piggy plushes are coming out! That is awesome. Now, I'm pretty sure Minitoon, as far as I know, actually got the rights to Piggy. Like, Piggy is now a copyrighted brand. Meaning, Minitoon has the rights to all these characters. And it's weird to think that this Peppa Pig spoof is kind of like this big copyrighted brand now and honestly it's really cool so yeah piggy's gotten big enough for that and now we are getting piggy plushes let's go i am super excited for these these look fantastic i am especially excited for the piggy and george ones though zizzy and bunny i would love to get my hands on i would love to get my hands on all of these but I'm going to be eyeballing George. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like with Piggy and Bunny, those two would sell out really, really fast. Because those two, Bunny is the most popular Piggy character, and Piggy, well, the Piggy is genuinely, like, a lot of people want the actual logo and branding of Piggy to be in their house instead of a random character. From Piggy. Though I, like, a lot of people would love to see Bunny in their house. 
like a lot of people. So yeah, that's interesting. And I feel like Zizzy and George would be the ones that would be ignored the most. And out of those two, I would love to get George. So yeah, that's that. But I will also be eyeballing the actual piggy, but I will focus on George because George is actually the only uninfected one, which it's freaking strange, man. You would think that they would put Zizzy as a as a uninfected one as well, but no, Zizzy is actually in an, an infected character in the set. I'm not complaining, but it's just a little strange, considering that Zizzy is one of the survivors. But, anyways, there is one last piece of news that comes from the tweet announcing the possibility of Piggy Plushes. Someone said that they would rather have vinyl figures because they don't know how to display plushes, which is cool. It would be cool to have vinyl figures, and then Minitune replied with, well then, a fut well then wait for a future announcement. So, we might also be getting Piggy vinyl figures. This is not confirmed at all, announced at all, but yeah, that would be so cool. But I would also like to say, I know these probably aren't vinyl, but imagine if Roblox made toys based off the Piggy game. Like in their official toy brands. I assume this couldn't happen, but now that Piggy's a copyrighted brand, if Roblox can get the rights... Well, I think Piggy's a copyrighted brand. But if Roblox can get the rights, that would actually be awesome. I feel like this has so much potential. Now, for the last part, that that's the last Piggy news, but I would like to just kind of call out someone. This is a little bit more of upsetting news, but... This is a separate game, but it's a Piggy-inspired game. We've talked about this game before on the channel. You've heard of it. It's gotten the 150-something views. It's called Puppet. Now, I am actually genuinely upset about this. This is a little bit... I just have to call them out. This is a little bit disappointing. To say the least, I really don't like what they're doing here, and it's really sad and shouldn't be a thing that people are worrying about. So, as you know, Puppet stole from Piggy. I've established this, but since then they have come out with two other chapters, which I decided not to make a video on Chapter 4 because I was bored of Puppet, and I'm not going to be making a video on Chapter 5 at, at all either because this is really scummy and I don't want to be supporting it even if it's even if it's even if it is just for a joke I feel like it's wrong and I am not going to be supporting it so for the chapter format they copied off of bacon they took bacon style and make it make make a made a map out of it now they got discovered for copying piggy and they just kind of went like hey let's copy bacon now because we were caught okay yeah that's really 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 not nice i don't like that but since sketch and other youtubers i suppose called them out for copying bacon now, they've decided to move on to the next piggy game, and this piggy game just so happens to be the piggy game that I'm playing on my channel currently. That's right, they have decided to copy Guesty. Now, as a huge Guesty fan, this really makes me mad, but what something that makes me even more mad is they add knife skins. No, I'm not saying that I'm mad about specifically that, but they added a, a knife skin that was a stolen asset from Guesty. So, they added the paper knife skin, 
Well, guess he has it as well. Now, this really makes me mad. Stealing ideas and kind of redoing it a little bit is one thing, but dead up stealing an asset is another thing. I feel like this is wrong, so I feel like Puppet is just gonna keep doing this, like someone's gonna call them out for stealing Guesty and they're gonna start stealing Ronald, and someone's gonna call them out for stealing Ronald, then they're gonna start stealing... What's another piggy game? And then they're gonna start s stealing ideas from... I'm trying to think of another good piggy game. Kitty! They're gonna start stealing ideas from Kitty, and it's just gonna keep going on and on and on, because people keep discovering them until they eventually end the story, and finally, Puppet will be gone. But until then, I would just like to say, please don't play Puppet. I mean, unless you really, really want to, Puppet is not a good game. Like, I've done a bit of exploring just to make sure that they're not, they're not making an original library. Yes, they stole the library map. But, no, they, they just... Their library is not original. It's just guesty. I'm not joking. It's just guesty. They decided to make a guesty library. And that really makes me mad right now. The guesty library is a really amazing map. And I feel like it's the best guesty map yet. But. And to see it stolen? is just wrong. I would like to just call out Puppet at the end of this piggy video. I'm sorry to end this on a negative note, but yeah. That's gonna do it for this epic piggy news update. I will be back to normal videos tomorrow, but I felt like I kind of wanted to try something new with the channel. Try to do like a Kaneko Kitten or Chloe Games type video and try a new video but we will be back to our normal gameplays in fact i've got a video that's super exciting for me to record coming out tomorrow i will be recording that tomorrow and uploading it tomorrow because i because i don't feel like recording another video today for some reason anyways this is a brand new thing let me know if you want to see more news updates on roblox games or or just or just games in general, but for now, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.